watch it look daytime in the night We bring the vibes here We full of life, you keep the change, keep the change They hate and say we went and changed, I stay the same You must be blinded by the lights You must be blinded by the lights, lights Hey guys, Dave here from Boss Aluminium. Today we're here to take a look at the Boss 6x6 that we've recently completed for a customer. Basically talk about why he did this and why he went for a six wheel drive. This is a 2018 model, 79 VDJ DPF model. Well, we built the car for touring and it was overloaded and wasn't handling the weight because he's got a quite a large camper that goes onto the back. So he needed to um, increase his GVM, GVM and also, you know, uh, looked at a chassis extension and it wasn't give him, gonna give him what he wanted. Coming to us and discussing the process and what we do and what options we had for him, all the way from 3,900 to 4,200 GVMs, the, the six wheel drive was the obvious option because it has a 4,495 uh, GVM with a four and a half ton tow. We're gonna take a bit of a look and go through what we've done. We have the ability to go a four inch lift with 35 inch tires. That that wasn't what this customer was after. He's, he's after a touring machine. Still very capable in, a, in the format that it is in, which is a, a two inch lift with 33s. It's running King's remote res shocks. We've gone for a Toyo RT open country tire, which is a, a cross between an all terrain and a mud terrain. So giving you the best of both worlds. Uh, great, great grip off-road for, you know, a lot of the Ks that people do on-road, they're, they're really quiet and a, a nice tyre and comfortable to drive on. One of the things with increasing your GVM and the adding an extra uh, axle, which is, you know, adds two extra calipers, is increasing the braking power of the um, brake system is pretty important as well. So in this one, we've gone for the Marx hydraulic brake booster. It's comparable, which I've said before, it feels like having 200 series brakes in a 79. Um, so when you can, you know, carry so much more load, have so much more payload um, and, and towing capacity, it's so important to be able to stop your car. Um, so this is, this is just a, a really, really good option um, to, to run on a six wheel drive or any 79 um, that you, you know, you're going up to this 4495 GVM. So now we're gonna talk about the, the J-Max 6x6 system. So basically we get the car as a 4x4 cab chassis. We strip the thing down and basically get it prepped and jigged up to do the chassis chop behind the cab where we remove the old chassis and basically bring a complete new system in which is the, the J-Max 6x6. That goes over the old chassis and runs down under the cab and then it's, it's strengthened through up to the front cross member as well. So this is a, a major upgrade. Um, we're not just, you know, putting bits and pieces on the car. It is a, a complete new fabricated chassis um, designed for this application. Okay, so one of the other key features with the J-Max system is that converting it from a leaf sprung rear end to a, a trailing arm coil converted six wheel drive. So in doing that, we're, we're gaining the comfort and the load capacity, correcting the wheel track as well. Well, the same as with the uh, coil conversions where it's basically hundred mil wider in the rear track. To, to match the original front wheel track. I'll take you around to the rear. You've all seen this rear end before. That's a good looking rear end. This is the, the rear tow bar and winch cradle integrated in together. And that's how we get the four and a half ton tow. In this, we've basically got a, a flip up um, number plate hiding the, the fair lead in there. It's a nice, neat and clean way to do it. We've got the camera mounted, tow pin. You can have Anderson plugs on there as well. Got the recovery or chain points on here and then you hitch and you can run a pin tool too. With this one, we've, we've gone through the tray and we've got a, a three inch exhaust running through the tray to keep it out of the way. You know, you, you maximize your underbody space um, and it's just a, a neat and clean way to do it. advantages of the J-Max system is we're basically adding a meter to the chassis. So on a normal 79, a 4x4 unextended, we, we choose to put a 1800 tray on it here at Boss. And by adding the extra meter, we basically can go a 2800 long tray. Makes it very usable, even if you run a, a small canopy like what we have here, 
or even a half canopy or a three quarter, basically similar to the, the 6x6, which is running the um, Boss, you know, M-Spec three quarter canopy. Um, you've still got a lot of tray space left for, you know, fridges, wood or whatever you, whatever you like. Basically, the, the customer has a Travelander flight on camper. Um, so that was the reason he was overloaded on his 4x4 version um, and he needed to take more gear and water anyway. Being 2800 long, we were able to put a, a, a canopy on here, a small canopy um, to, you know, basically has adjustable shelving that you can fit a lot of extra gear, keep it nice and dry and organised. We also did a sheet metal headboard which has a 90 litre uh, stainless steel tank integrated into it. Uh, it's gravity fed and if you come closer over here, you'll be able to see that it's basically got a, a level tube to show you the, the water level. Um, just very simple and basic, but very effective. It's um, under gravity, so we just turn the tap and he's got 90 litres of fresh water that he can uh, access without, you know, I suppose losing any room under the tray. Um, and the reason we did that was because this has actually got the Boss and Brown Davis collaborated 160 litre um, fuel tank under the front here in between the um, tray and the chassis and also drops down into the chassis to utilise the room. The rear of the tray, we've got the 185 litre as well. So he's got a huge capacity of fuel, which is you know important when touring. <coughs> um, the spare wheels, they're mounted there. We've done this a little bit different from the normal way we'd mount it. You actually undo them from inside. So the reason for that is basically when he's got his camper on here, you cannot get to those without taking the camper off. So he can now go inside, unscrew his wheel clamps and the tires come out the side. When he's running around town or home, uh, he's opted for the tray sides, uh, but he's also got stainless tie down points inside the tray. and. He's got, a, he's got rear sockets, so if he wants to run a, a you know, the three inch rear bar on it, it drops straight in. The other features that are in this tray, we've, we've built in um, mounting points for his camper so that he can, he's basically got um, a ratchet strap system on the Travelander. He needs somewhere solid to hook into. So we've built these into the tray. It's roughly about 15 mil thick of plate through here and he can ratchet that down as much as he like and it's, it's not going anywhere. Um, the tail piece has always has also been in, uh, strengthened as well to handle you know the pressure of the ratchet strap running through here and clamping down his camper. We've upgraded the um, underbodies on this um, from the the previous premium 79 style tray more to be like the ram with the the extra taper. We don't want to take too much of the box out we still want it to be usable there's access panels on the other side, so if you ever wanted to put anything in there, he can pull those plates out, drill them, put glands in them and put it back in, or Anderson plugs or a Deutsch plug or anything like that. Um, and he doesn't have to actually drill or penetrate the box. We're running a, a shelf and a divider, and this actually has the mounting system pre-built into it for an ARB twin compressor or any other compressor that you like. Three-point locking system, so it's locking in the center and out to the sides and that guarantees you a seal and means it's really secure as well. We'll take a look at the rear drawer. This rear drawer is probably a little bit unique in what we've done with it. Um, he wants to run a lot of heavy gear in this drawer, so what we've actually done is doubled up the drawer slides to increase the ca capacity of the drawer. Even someone like myself can stand in the back of this, which would be funny to see, um, but it'll, it'll take my weight fairly easily. We also <coughs> stand it on our premium trays. The floor is ribbed. So, you know, basically this means that when you do load it up, it's not gonna flex and, you know, drag rubbers off and do all that sort of stuff. It's also a, a three-point locking system once again locking in the center here and out to the sides. Um, because of you know increased weight, that's pretty important as well. You don't want your drawer flying out the back. We've got the steady um, four-way floodlights on here. 
uh, for reversing and this this will light up this car park like a christmas tree and the premium leds as well the maxi lamp ones which are bright by themselves and um, look great all the fittings and fixtures hinges catches they're all stainless steel uh, for longevity and they look good too got the protection decals on there which gives you a bit of added protection and breaks up the the big door we're running the <coughs> similar style flared mud guards that we run on the ram with multiple angles through them looks a lot cleaner and it gives you a nice clearance for the door when it opens it doesn't hit on the guard the fuel filler is built through the tray um, so that is directly going straight into the um, the brown davis tank as well so one of the other features that all the boss trays through the m spec range of the premium run with the with the tray sides um, we basically, we build a double skin. Now I've been asked, what's a double skin? Well, we've got the outer skin of the, uh, the tray side, and then we've got an inner. So instead of just being a cap across the top, we actually, if you look across that side, you'll see that it's fully paneled in. And what this does is actually create a lot more strength in a tray side. So if you did have a tie rail, you can tie over the top of the tray side and it doesn't bow in. But the other added benefit is, if you've got gear in the back and it's bouncing from side to side, and that does happen, you've got this panel that's gonna stop your um, tray sides from dinning. One of the other features again, if we have a look under here, um, we've, we've basically mounted these rubber flaps here. Um, we've done it in the past, like on my six wheel drive, where it was, it was basically one big mounting channel and it looks really clean, but the problem is you can't get in there. So with this style here, there's a rubber flap so if you need to get under there to access anything, um, you basically lift the flap up and it, it keeps all the dirt and the mud and the water out. Um, and trust me, it works really well because when you don't have it, you'll know about it. All right guys, well, that's pretty much it on the Boss Belt 6x6. I hope you've um, found it informative and liked the video. If you, if you need a 6x6 belt or any other vehicle, we've got a lot of experience in building uh, serious off-road tourers as well whether it's a 79, a 200, a Ram, any sort of vehicle, we can help you out. So feel free to shoot us an email or give us a call in the office and the sales team will help you out. Thanks for watching, guys.